<laughs> All right, speaking of cool cats, uh, let's get straight to it. I can't wait to talk to her. Yes. Anita Padilla, former anchor at Fox 32, now the news director at Florida's Voice. You can follow it at flvoicenews.com. Good morning, Anita. How are you? Hey, John and Amy. Hi. I'm wonderful. How are you guys? We're doing, you know, yeah. we're, we're getting through it. We've had a lot of crazy things happening in Chicago. They just voted yesterday to remove uh, police officers from all remaining Chicago public schools. They got rid of Spot Shotter. What else is uh, going on? Um, uh, 100, yeah. 100 illegals attacking cops at Home oh, Depot. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, Venezuelans here that are here illegally are attacking cops because they want to be sent back home, but the Venezuelan government won't take them back. So we're doing great. Is there anything you're missing here? <laughs> Things are going really swell. Oh, my gosh. Well, 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 what about the woman at City Hall that was screaming at Brandon Johnson? And I loved how she did her exit. And she was like, that's right, Brandon Johnson. <laughs> and I loved it. I was like, man, you go, girl. You tell him you're not going to tolerate it. We put you in office. And if you don't uh, start listening, well, apparently he's not listening no. to them. No. He the, is uh, so went over his he head. Forgets he's who he's mayor for, you know? <laughs> I It's so frustrating for me. I have been keeping up with what's going on. I see all the feeds, and, you know, once in a while I'll chime in um, because this job has got a big focus on Florida, so I'm always trying to, like, keep up abreast of what's going on in Chicago just because I have family that lives there. Mm -hmm. And it cracks me up when I say something on Twitter, and then I get these idiots. And if you're listening, yeah, you're an idiot (laughs) because you'll say something. Well, well, here comes Florida, girl. Why don't you mind your own business? You live in Florida now. Like, like, really grow uh, up. You know, the world is a big place, especially on social media. And um, this is still always going to be my home. Chicago is always going to be my home. I just chose to, uh, you know, enjoy some more sunsets and warm weather and uh, take on a different job where I could speak my mind a little bit more than uh, I was allowed to do when I was working for corporate media. So um, it's it's been a, a breath of fresh air, but I got to tell you, it, it kills me every time I see some of these stories, like you were just mentioning. It's mm-hmm. what I mean. We I had feel like Chicago has just gotten worse since I left, and yeah. it's been a month and a half. Oh, Anita, we had twenty attacks within twenty four hours in our neighborhood. I mean, between <laughs> Ravenswood, Logan Square, uh, Lakeview, Lincoln Park. Mm-hmm. And they were the victims were from ages sixteen to sixty eight, and this was broad daylight. Jeez. It started at eleven a.m. and they would go up to women and they targeted all women and grab this one. They grabbed the sixty eight year old by her hair, threw her to the ground, and then hit her repeatedly with a blunt object in broad daylight. And nobody, Jeez. nobody came to her rescue. It's like people are putting because everybody's their heads afraid. In the they're afraid. Yeah, they're afraid to be involved. They're afraid to be next. And I saw the video, and actually I shared it. This one woman, uh, maybe maybe it was the same one you're talking about. They drove away, and then they came back and got her again. No, that's, um, that's a different it, it woman. Was, that I mean, that was just that was late night. That was late, but I mean, how sick and perverted. Yeah. They knock her down. They yeah. hurt her. Then they come back, and you think as a victim, okay, is is my hell over? Is this over? And mm-hmm. that sticks with somebody for the rest of their lives. Mm-hmm. I mean, she's Absolutely. never going to be the same. And no, I know. And I've been hearing about Lakeview being under attack from these um, these uh, robbery uh, rings that are going around with stolen vehicles, you know, whether they're Kias or whether they're Hyundais, and <clears throat> and then they just go and they uh, ambush, you know, their victims. So it's it, – and what's sad is I, I hate to say it, but, it, you know, it, it is. It's this whole push for like, oh, we've got to go for social justice. We've got to give people a break. This is the problem when you don't prosecute yep. people for the smaller crimes and you keep giving them a pass, you keep giving them a pass, and this is all they know. There's no consequence. It's like a petulant child that has no discipline. <laughs> exactly. This is what you're going to end up with. So with your exit from Fox 32, I watched your goodbye, and um, I started crying. <laughs> You it was did. Really oh, I nice. did too at the end. I know. I saw that. That's why I started crying too. But we, was it? Did you surprise your bosses? Did they know that I you were going to be leaving, or how did it go? No, no, they did not know. Um, they. So the thing is, you know, I I felt for a while that I had to speak my mind, and it was clear that I was doing that anyway on social media, but, you know, the problem is <laughs> you're a journalist, and you're working for corporate media, and they've got a brand to protect, and 
Um, I just wanted to be able to say and speak more. I, I just felt like there was a bigger, bigger calling on my life. And really, I'm a person of deep faith for those who know me, those who follow me. And I had been praying about this for a very long time. And I asked God to open up opportunities for me. And I went down to Florida, and my husband and I started looking at houses. We looked at 65 houses before we wow. purchased one in Cape Coral. Yeah, we looked at 65 houses. And finally, in back in September, we made a purchase. But the, the uh, thought was that we would have a vacation home, and we would rent it out as an Airbnb, and we would still stay in Chicago. And I would continue working because I'm under contract at the time, and my contract was ending at the end of the year. But as things kind of progressed and what I saw going on in Chicago and I saw going on in Illinois, I'm like, do I really want to live, you know, like this, um, where I see things that, that, for instance, Mayor Johnston, you know, Johnson doesn't want to talk at all to anybody, no. but especially I, I, because uh, because we're Fox. There's this perception that yeah. Fox is all, you know, conservative. We're just like the network. Not, you know, Fox 32 is nothing like the network, even though it's run by the same company. But people have this thought about Fox. So, you know, trying to get an interview with the mayor was was ridiculous. But when we when he finally came in office, it was almost like, well, we don't want to say the wrong thing because he may not give us an interview. And I'm like, he's not going to give us an interview anyway. <laughs> right. okay? And even if he does give us an interview, it's going to be controlled so, so much because he doesn't know what he's doing. Oh, I mean, clueless. That's, you know, clueless. <laughs> that's the, I mean, I've never, have you ever seen a worse mayor in your life than him? I mean, people thought I, Mayor Lyfer was bad. bad. Leash, you know, she's a former U.S. attorney. Yeah. Attorney assistant U.S. attorney. I mean, at least she knew. I mean, she was, and I think she, you know, shot herself in the foot because she was so yeah. cantankerous and mm-hmm. demonstrative to certain reporters. And then she became yeah. nice again, but it was a little too late yeah. for her. But it at was. least, you know, this 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 guy is just, I mean, this is, he's not even running the show. He can't even pay his own water bill. That's the thing that bothers uh, this, me the most. And see, and that's the thing is like, why aren't more journalists reporting that about him? You know, there's this, there, there's been this thought like, oh, you can't say this, you can't say that, we do, you don't want to. But this is what it just drives me crazy is not not reporting all of the information that we know as journalists. There's a lot of things we hear and a lot of things we know, but. Eh, they don't want to go with that because City Hall might get mad at us. Right. And and it's not just one newsroom. It's all of them. They're all like that. Yep. They're all like that. So, and, you know, there are those that will eventually stick their neck out. And once it's almost like when the sharks smell blood, and, and now they do. So now you're starting to see some of these things come out about him. Like, um, I forget who, what publication it was, but they said the honeymoon is over. Yeah. And if you ask me, the honeymoon should have been over a very long time ago for Brandon Johnson because he's just messing up. I mean, how can you say – it started for me it, even before he started working when he started calling these uh, Kia boys and kids that are – you know, they're silly kids. Right. No, oh, yeah, that were drag racing silly in the kids. street and <laughs> smashing grabs. They're just silly kids. Yeah, that was. Oh, I, I heard that. I heard that. Uh, Anita, you know, I got a bone to pick with you because um, you didn't tell me you were moving to Florida because you remember, you remember we I did say, hey, I want you to come on my show. <laughs> and um, I, I don't know if you recall that 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 text conversation that you and I had, but that's OK. It's OK. You moved <laughs> to Florida already. It's OK. Well, it's so funny. You're not the only one. Listen, for those of you who know me and you feel like I just boogied out of town without, you know, telling anyone, you're not alone because nobody knew. There are family members that I didn't tell. Listen, (laughs) there was, I went to, because I told you I'm a person of faith. I had gone to church back in February and I, it's funny, my husband and I walk into this church and we've never been into church in a long time. Well, we've been to church, but we just hadn't been to church in a long time. So we choose this little church. We walk in. We're the only people who are not African American. We're like, okay. (laughs) Uh, But they were so awesome there. I loved it. And this preacher was amazing. And he said, he said, 
not everybody is happy for you when God has a plan for you. You don't tell everybody. You keep it to yourself and you work on your plan because when, and I'm going to bring up some, some stuff here, but when, when there are people that are, 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 you know, listening to some other, you know, side telling them, you know, to undermine you, well, then your plans get destroyed. So don't be telling people your business. And so I kept this whole thing to myself and when it came to the point where I was just like, I don't want to do this anymore, I did surprise my bosses. And Amy, you watched that that video or that um, when my goodbye mm-hmm. that was on a Wednesday. The <laughs> movers were at my house that afternoon, <laughs> and I left on Thursday. Ooh. Oh my gosh! Just ask Joseph about that. But um, you know, I, as, as far as it relates to brand and, and the media, is it the potential for access that they? They're afraid to lose because yeah. the potential. If you say the wrong would, thing and you yeah. piss him off or anybody on his staff, then they will not get you that one-on-one. Yeah, well, and everybody talk, seeks the one-on-one. Talk to us about uh, Florida Voice News. What 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 are you doing down there, and um, where can people find it here in Illinois? Well, Florida Voice Florida's Voice News is. Um, it's all political, and I am the news director, as well as I'll be reporting. But right now, this is a digital platform, so there's a lot to learn about, um, you know, making sure that scripts are what they should be for the show. So here's the deal. So the 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 boss here used to be an investigative reporter for a CBS station, and he just got tired of, like me, tired of corporate media, opened his own started his own, launched his own show, all politics, all uh, with a conservative spin. Um, And he is all about free speech. Mm -hmm. So, and it's just Florida. They just want to cover Florida. So uh, he started this four years ago with like 35,000 and it's just ballooned and blossomed. And it was, you know, he got me to come down here and he was determined to get me to come work for him. I had this job lined up in mid October. Wow. I actually had a couple of job offers before I even decided to leave, but it was so, you know, he was like, no, you're the person you got to come work for me. You got to come work for me. So, um, I come to work for him and it's a small operation, but there's only like 10 people on the staff wow. and the, the amount of news that they, we crank out is just incredible. Really a great team of reporters. So what they do is they cover all the politics, whether it's in Tallahassee right now, um, the legislature is in session. So there's a lot of these very uh, aggressive bills that are coming um, onto the floors. And so they're reporting those. I help approve what goes onto the web, and then some of those stories end up as news stories for a show. And right now, I'm the one that's choosing what goes into the show. I write the stories, and so I'm doing like five jobs, which is kind of funny. It's like I'm doing it all. I'm the assignment editor. I'm the copy editor. I'm the executive producer. I'm the news director, and I'm the producer of the show yeah. and the writer. So maybe that's more. So, but it's 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 a learning curve. And um, so you, you, I'm just blown away at how fast some of these reporters can respond and type back. And I'm like, okay, uh, wait, 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 what, what's going on? Plus, I switched to an iPhone oh, and a MacBook, and I've been an Android user all my life. Oh, thank God you, you can switched. imagine that switch. Oh, I, that is, that's <laughs> God bless you because I, me and technology don't get along. If uh, I had to do that, that would take me a few weeks to get used to the system. Are you used to the MacBook? Yet? It is. Yeah, I'm in the, I have a MacBook. It's better. And I now have the iPhone. And let me tell you, there is a major. And I jumped in just as session open when everything is just cranking. And and I have to learn how to use the rundown system, the proofreading system, mm. the virtual newsroom system they call Slack. Um, <laughs> and I'm just you you leave the news virtual newsroom to go work on something, and someone's I need my script proofs. So you go back like where was I again? He's like you get lost. <laughs> So but you know what? You're doing it. And, You're doing it. Yes, I I know. <laughs> and I'm thinking this is pretty cool. And guess when I when I have a bad day, I look out my window and I see oh, come on. the water and I see the palm trees and I'm oh, like, okay, this is uh, this is still okay. <laughs> I was sitting outside in 80 degree weather yesterday on oh. my pool lanai. Oh. You know, with my laptop, and I'm like, this is awesome. Oh, good for you. You deserve it. You. Um, all right, Anita Padilla, we're going to have you back on, but thank you so much for joining us. God bless you and your family and your son, and I just think the world of you. And I yes. loved working with you. Guess what my mom called her? What? I need a Padilla. I need- 
That's the, she, my, my mom, Louise, back in the day when you and I used to work together at NBC, my mom said, oh, I love Oh, Amy, we have some war stories, don't we? Oh, <laughs> my goodness. Our pod was fun. Who was yeah. it? Was me, you? Was it Lauren Jiggetts? Or Natalie. Who else was it? And now, oh, oh, Nat- Elgis, Rob Elgis. Oh, that's right. Oh, my God. Rob we, Elgis, you, me, and who was the fourth person in oh, our pod? Jennifer Mitchell? Remember. Was it Jennifer Mitchell? Or oh, Lisa that's right, Parker. Jennifer Mitchell. Mitchell oh, my yeah. gosh. We had, no, Parker was on the other side of the room. They had to keep her in a hole because oh, she was so loud, remember? Right. Oh, my God. She would come in. She'd like, oh, I loved her, though. It was so much fun back <laughs> in the I day. I love her, too. <laughs> All right. Well, Anita Padilla, thank you so much for to see her work. Go to Florida's Voice, flvoicenews.com. And she joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. It's like a hot, steaming cup of information to start your day. It's Chicago's Morning Answer on AM560, The Answer. Balance of Nature's Fruits and Veggies Supplements, changing the world one life at a time. I've been a clinical psychologist since 1991. I was licensed, and I love being a clinical psychologist because I like helping people. I tell people that Balance of Nature is a wonderful supplement because I truly trust in the pro.